Hey basketball players, if you're watching today's video, obviously you searched most likely for how to shoot from NBA three-point range. And that is what we're gonna be talking about today. So if you're looking to have even just a farther shot or you are looking to shoot an NBA three, this video is for you. So the first thing we really need to look at is our shooting form. We can't just start off by shooting NBA range threes. You need to really work on your form. And why I say this is because the way you shoot the ball from one inch away from the rim, which apparently I can't do today because my shot is always short today. So when we get close to the rim, we need to be at least one, two, three inches away. And when we shoot our shot, we wanna be able to hit a swish. And we wanna have that same shooting form from the waist up as we do from the three-point line and then the NBA three-point line. And there's a good reason for this. So we wanna get down and we wanna really know our shooting form. We really wanna know what it feels like and how we are releasing the ball. The reason for that is we don't wanna be shooting from here and shooting a good perfect shot and then going out to NBA three point range and just trying to chuck it up because we don't have enough strength because we not, don't know how to shoot from that range. Let's go back to the NBA three and let's see how we should shoot it. Okay, so NBA three range, this is where the high school line is. NBA range is roughly one for me, one big step back, roughly in this area. Now, from there, we have to know how to shoot with our legs. We cannot be changing our upper body. We cannot change from a good shooting form into a, let's just chuck it up and hope for the best shooting form because that's what happens with a lot of players when they first start moving back to the three-point line and then later on to the NBA three-point line. You really wanna keep the same shooting form. You really don't wanna change your shooting form from when you're up close to the rim to now back at the three-point line. So when you're back at the three-point line, when you take that shot, you want it to be the exact same form as it was back up front near the rim. So ideally, what I would like you to do is to start up close to the rim, shoot your shot, take a step back, and then keep on stepping back until you make it in, and then make, step back again, make the shot again, step back. Eventually, you're gonna be getting to the three-point line, and now most players, if you're over the age of 12, you can usually shoot a three-point shot, maybe not consistently, but you should be able to keep your form. Now, when you shoot that shot, you should have the exact same form as you were up front. And now when you make this shot and you take that step back, you really need to keep the exact same shooting form. Now the difference that you're gonna find from closer to the rim and back is not your upper body. It's your legs. You need to jump higher. So there's a saying, and I've said this in multiple other videos on this channel, if your shot is short, you need to use more legs, which means you need to jump higher on that shot. Meanwhile, if your shot is too long, you need to not take down your, shoot, your jumping. What you need to do is now raise your arm and shoot at a higher angle. That's going to allow you to have more arc, which brings that ball closer, but also allows the rim to look bigger for the ball and allows that ball to drop in. So what have we learned? Same shot all the way along, you just jump higher. That's the only real difference. Now I hope that these tips can help you shoot from further away. If they do, hit that like button and subscribe. I'll see you guys again next time.